Good morning. Today's plant check-in is a little bit sad. My canna plant has been feasted on. You can see some of these leaves were chewed a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put diatomaceous earth down. And what this will do is kill any crawling insects. It'll dry them out. So hopefully they will stop attacking my poor little plant here. But it's still green, so it's still doing good. But this is my first time growing outside, so there's a lot I still have to learn. So bear with me with that. So we can see another one on this side. Took a little bite out over there. And this entire leaf is gone. Pretty upsetting, but I'm learning a lot about the process and how everything goes, so here we go. Over in the lamb's ear section, these are doing fine. Once again, they're getting eaten pretty bad too, so I'm going to dust some diatomaceous earth over here. Hopefully that will start to control this slug and worm population. With all the weeds in the grass, there are a lot of cutworms. So I can only imagine that they're over here too. And we're going to just have to deal with those pesky buggers. And no surprise, the pumpkin's just doing fine. And I think over here we have the award for the biggest leaf ever. This thing is humongous. See, let's do a comparison. Yep, bigger than my hand, for sure. Here's a pumpkin down here, underneath that leaf. Let's see, let's go pumpkin hunting. And we have this guy still growing down there inside that little I guess I should get him out of there so he can get bigger than that little square over there. We'll give him some more room to grow. In the backyard, yesterday, I got sweaty, y'all. I'm not going to lie, I was dripping sweat. But the good news is that all of the weeds that were along this fence, all the big red root pigweed anyway those are all gone so little bits at a time and then I went over here into the garden and smashed down the tallest ones I could find and tried to pull out all of the wood from this garden because it seems to love growing around the wood and then back here I had started a compost bin a while ago and it is growing its own pumpkins. So we can see in here, in this little container, we have a bunch of pumpkin plants in here. And actually one of them has started. And all these little black seeds, these are the seeds from the red root pigweed. There's a little baby pumpkin down there. So we're just gonna leave that alone in here and try to attack some of this today. So I'm gonna suit up and hydrate. Try to get some of these out by the root. And let's take a look at our tree. We'll give this tree some water today. Its leaves are green, so it's all right. Let's check out the front real quick. Let's see what our flowers are doing up front. But before we do that, just one note on diatomaceous earth. It comes in a humongous bag and I just take a paintbrush and just kind of smooth it around in the soil. 
Some people call this dinosaur dust. I just think it's just the best thing ever. So, we're gonna try to help our sunflower friends. And, as we see in the garden behind us, this guy is different than the sunflowers and the pumpkins. So I think we might have a zucchini, uh, zucchini, <laughs> zucchini, or a, another type of vegetable. Now if we can get them to grow and not get eaten by worms, that will be a freaking miracle. So we're gonna put out our natural defenses here. And these used to be little insects, I believe. And over time, They've just been ground down into powder, and now we can use them in the garden. So y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for hanging out with me and my plants.